Hey y'all, I'm about to make some banana pineapple bread. Now, I've never added pineapple to banana bread before, but I've seen a lot of recipes for it, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Let me just go ahead and move the camera down and let's get started mixing this up. I've got three eggs. I'm gonna beat those, first of all, with a whisk. Get those broken up pretty well. Then I'm going to add in one and a half cups of sugar, half a cup of vegetable oil, and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I'm not gonna add any cinnamon to this. I'm just going with a good dose of vanilla. I think that'll be good. And I'm gonna mix this together. You could use a mixer, I, I'm sure. Um, but since this is just uh, a, a quick bread I don't think it a mixer is necessary it's not like they're actually making a cake where it matters how much the eggs are beaten and that kind of thing that's why I like these they're so much easier to just throw together and have something good to eat in short order all right, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and add in, oops, I forgot to get a spatula. Let me grab a spatula over here. I'm going to go ahead and add in my bananas. I had three ripe bananas. When I mashed them up, it came up to about one and two thirds cup, a little shy of two cups. But that's what I had, so that's what I'm using. Let me go ahead and mix that in. I'll move that out of the way. Just kind of stir that in. Then I'm really going heavy on the pineapple. I've got a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple and pineapple juice, so there's no sugar added to it. But that is heavy, heavy on the pineapple. We'll see how it turns out. Hopefully, it'll turn out good. Most of the recipes use like an eight ounce can of pineapple. That's why I'm saying I'm really going heavy on it. Next, I'm going easy with Bisquick. I've got three cups of Bisquick. And my bowl is getting full here. So I'm gonna have to stir this pretty easily. Stir it slowly gently to get the flour mixture in. You could always add cinnamon because most of the time when I make banana bread, I do use at least cinnamon, sometimes some nutmeg also. But I just, with the pineapple, I just really wanted to stick with vanilla as a flavor rather than spicy. All right. There, I think we can get going a little bit better now. But I did need a larger bowl, actually, to have enough room. Let's see if I can get some more of those lumps out of the flour. Get this around the edge. All right. I'm also going to put some walnuts in. I've got half, I mean a cup of chopped walnuts. So stir those in. That's it for this batter. Now I have sprayed, let me wipe my fingers a little bit here, 
and get rid of this flower, get that out of the way. I have sprayed two large baking pans with uh, vegetable spray. So I'm going to divide this between the two pans. Stir a little bit more just to make sure everything's pretty well combined there. Pour about half of it in one pan and half in the other pan. I have the oven preheated at 350 and I'm going to set the timer. I'm going to set my timer for 45 minutes and check it. it. It may need closer to an hour to bake, but I'll check it at 45 minutes with a toothpick and then add more time as I need to. So, let me see, there's, there's both pans. They're not totally even, but uh, they'll just have to do. I'm not gonna move any out of one into the other. I think it will be fine. Gonna put these into the oven and set my timer and we'll be back and see if this experiment worked. Okay, we're back with the finished product of the banana pineapple bread. When I took the first loaf out of the pan and then turned it over on the rack, it split down the middle. The second one did not. But it's okay because we're just going to eat it. doesn't really matter if it's split or not. Okay. This has been sitting for close to an hour, cooling off. So, I think it's definitely time to sample. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's nice and brown on the outside. It's heavy. Because um, <laughs> there's a lot of pineapple in there. As well as the banana. So, let's... Uh, so let's give it a taste. I really like pineapple, so it's not going to be a problem for me at all if it is overwhelmingly pineapple flavored. Mm. Mm. There definitely is pineapple flavor. But it's very soft. It's moist. Mm. It's so good. Mm. I like this a lot. Banana, pineapple bread with walnuts. And I used Bisquick, which made it very easy. Just mixing it up with a few other ingredients. So there you have it, banana pineapple bread. See you later.